Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this Laravel video tutorial, we will learn that how we can use put method with the API. So these are the points that we are going to cover in this video. We will see why we use the put method, how we can set up our Postman for put API. Then we will write some code for the API and test that our API. And at the last, I will ask you a question. You can attempt this question in the comment box also. And guys, uh, for don't forget to subscribe our channel for more Laravel videos, more PHP and JavaScript videos also, right? Because on a daily basis, I update uh, uh, at least two or three videos on my channel, right? So now let's start with the first question. So why we use the put method with the API? So put method is used for uh, updating the data, right? So let's say uh, from the front end like Angular or the React or the Vue, someone want to hit an API and uh, he just want to or she just want to update some data. For that time, we can use the put method and how he, he want to update the data. So let's say in the seven ID, we have some name and uh, some member ID. So let's say he just want to update this uh, computer to the laptop or some other text or some other name. Similar, he just want to also update the member ID also, right? For that case, we will use the put API, right? So first of all, let's set up our uh, postman. So just uh, open a new tab and which is post API is very similar to the uh, put API is very similar to the post API also, right? So you just need to select a uh, uh, put method from here and route. Uh, we will just make a route here after some moment. But first of all, let's uh, get ready the body of our uh, uh, put request and just select here JSON. And here you can just add the three things, right? First thing, let's say you just want to add the name because you just want to update something here like uh, you just want to make uh, computer uh, and you, you just want to replace it with the mm -mm 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 smart computer or something like say super computer super right and after that uh, let's say you just want to add here member id right and uh, with in the member id you let's say you just want to update it with the uh, 10 to 100 right that we can just clearly check the changes right or you can simply use it like a numeric also that's a both similar thing and at the last we also need the id here on which behalf we will update the data yes you can also update the data on the behalf of name but member id but there is a chances that uh, because uh, with the same name maybe there is a uh, more than one record in name and member id but id will be the unique for always right so we will use a id here so just um, choose your ID and let's say our ID is 10 because we just want to update only, uh, sorry, 7th record, right? So just put here 7. And everything is ready now, but uh, we need to make our uh, URL, right? So in the previous video, you know that uh, uh, we just add this URL for a post and at the last we have a add, uh, add uh, keyword, right? So for update or put, we can use the update here. And now if you want to try to hit it, then it will give an error 404, right? Here you can see that because our uh, update type of uh, uh, routing is not created yet, right? So now let's go to the api.php and let's just simply create here route put because we are using sending the put request from here. That's why you need to put here put method right then update and this update uh, should be similar to the your uh, last keyword of uh, your URL right and uh, then just uh, define the your controller name and uh, basically this is a class and in the method in the second value of this array let's use your function name right so we did not make our function name yet. So now let's make the update function. Function update. And let's simply return here something like uh, result. And here you can just see that data is updated. Right? Let let me correct the updated spelling. Right. And now let's try to hit it. 
this is working fine but uh, we have a just static value this so we have to just implement it uh, uh, a little bit more so first of all let's uh, just get a request in a parameter with a dollar req param and here just simply write here dollar device equal to device right and colon colon find and in the find let's just pass the id request underscore id how we just know that we just have to here we need to request dot id we need to write it because the request is our parameter and we are sending the only uh, id method here right because we are we just want to update it on the I, behalf of id so we will just write it here then just simply write here device name will be dollar request name and uh, similarly just put here member id underscore id and uh, just put here member underscore id right and at the last line just simply put here dollar result equal to dollar device save if data is saved successfully then it will get uh, a true value and we can just simply write here if result is true dollar result is true then we can just simply return here data is updated right so data has been updated and here we can just simply write here um, uh, update operation has been failed right uh, if we just got some issue then this message will be printed here now let's uh, try to hit it so for now as you know we have uh, on a seventh id we have a computer and 10 record right and now let's hit it again data is updated that's great now try to refresh it and here you can see that on the seventh id we got a supercomputer and the id so now let's try to hit update our fifth record uh, so fifth record and uh, now i just want to put here mac machine right and id let's take it 50 for a moment here you can see the data is updated again try to refresh on id fifth and uh, you can see that this is also okay mm -mm, what i actually used here seven right so on the seven you can see that we got the mac machine and id 15 so you can do it with a similar on the five id if you just want to update the fifth id and again let's check On the fifth id we got the same data also so this is the way that how we can just use the put method with the api if you still have any confusion you can ask me in the comment box it's, it's time to interview question now so my question is why we use the put api can we use uh, the post api also for update the data if yes then why if you know then why we cannot so bye bye for now and please subscribe my channel and like this video god bless you